How's it going everyone? It's uh, Jura Bro back with the another video. In this video, let us take a look at the service accounts. Service accounts are actually being used to do all of the automations and all of the other things. When someone who actually leaves the company or someone who actually changes the team cannot do anymore. Like it says, and they allow you to automate the tasks with an account not associated with a person. So that is a important thing to understand that that account is not a person itself. So when we actually uh, click to create it, I can actually give it a name here. I can go like service account. I can give a description if I want, what is the purpose of it. I'm gonna skip. Now, I can choose the app roles for this specific service account. For example, and also I can add it to some of the groups in here. So for, for Jira, what I can actually do is I can add a role as of a user. I believe that you're familiar with this since this is the part of the uh, organization admin who actually has, um, who has the ability to add other organization admins, also the site admins and also the Jira admins in here. So I can change this to Jira administration to be the app admin. Um, what else do I want to add in here? Yeah, I believe that mostly this is it. I don't want to, I don't want to go with more of this. So I have the name of it and also I have an email address that has been randomly generated. So that is another thing. Uh, the thing is what you can actually do right now is you can uh, create the API token, which is the another thing that we're, we're going to be doing. So I can say API, for example, and I can set this yeah, to be the August. Now, I can now select the token scopes. Uh, and this is the actions that could be performed within the apps themselves. So for example, I have uh, the common property build info allowed to, uh, to delete build information, delete board configuration settings, features and properties, for example, there's a lot of them, there's 407. So I can go with write. So I can write, write comment, Jira, and I can select this for Jira, of course. Uh, create and update the dashboards, create customer entitlements, save designs, for example. Uh, feature flagged information. What else? Uh, I can save field configurations. That is another thing. Create and update filters. That is an interesting one as well. I can say next. Create the API token. And this is where you actually want to save it. So I'm going to save it now. And basically that is it. So for all the things that need to be done with the uh, service account itself, the service account will actually do that. So you get the part of the groups that they are. And also this API where you, where you should probably write this down and actually to use it. Now the question is, okay, how this can actually work, right? The question is, can this work with the Forge applications, for example? 
That is a great question. I didn't use this to test it with the four jabs themselves. Uh, it is a worth of a try to actually do that. Um, and yeah, but if you go to users right now, and if we actually go um, do I have some of them? No, not really. But I have the service accounts right here. And you can explore them. So this is the synchronization of data between the Jira and the other apps as well. So there's this option that you can do and it's saying you can have five free single service account to automate tasks and to integrate the apps themselves. Okay. Now the question is, uh, can you change, can you change the rule actor of your automation rules within the, uh, within the project that you're using and the answer is no funny thing what you can actually do is you can add this um, user to your project so if i go to my jira here and if i go to one of my projects and if i go to add people and i start to type I have the option of service account and I can add it, but they will not act as a person. And that's the thing to understand about it. Right. So this is how you edit it and this is how you can work with it. So you don't need the password for it. Manage a service account life cycle. You can, you can create an edit account. You can also give the account the app permissions, edit the details on the service account profile and create an API token for it as well. So, and it's saying when you grant a service account access to Jira, they do not count towards your user limit. So this is not counting towards your licenses. This means we don't charge your Jira subscription plan for these service accounts. That's actually pretty great and pretty, pretty uh, useful. All right. So yeah, that is pretty much how you, how, how you have your service accounts actually in here with all of the emails and everything else that it needs to be included. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See ya. Bye.